Today is June 24th. I filmed two videos earlier today and I checked my phone afterwards and saw this article, breaking news, whatever. And if y'all remember a couple weeks ago, it was leaked that this is what they were thinking of doing. A couple of weeks ago when that leaked, you know, I made a post on Instagram saying like everyone who's happy about this, I can't wait to meet your adoptive children because I mean, I'm sure y'all know that most of the time the same people who are happy about abortions being restricted or, you know, made illegal or whatever, the same people who are against abortion are not the same people who actually adopt children out of foster care and people who are against abortion seem to only care about children when they are uh you know inside a woman's body and then the minute they're born they don't give a shit about them anymore and on that post there was at least one person that I remember that was like, oh, you're spreading false information. It hasn't been overturned yet, and I doubt they'll even overturn it. Y'all are being dramatic. Everyone's spreading misinformation for no reason, and pretty much just being like super gaslighty. And I saw it on many people posted about this leak, and I saw that same sort of comment multiple times, and it really pissed me off today because I was like, you know what, fuck you to everyone who tried to gaslight us a couple weeks ago saying that we were being dramatic and we shouldn't be worrying about this because we absolutely should be worrying about it. And we were right to be upset about it a couple weeks ago because they did overturn it just like the leak said they were going to. I debated whether or not to even make this video because obviously this is not the type of video that I typically make. It's not in the same tone it's not in the same format it didn't it did not feel right to make this be a typical tuesday friday video um but it also didn't feel right to not talk about this at all because i know that obviously this is a child free channel where we don't want children but many of us are probably not sterilized you know i'm not sterilized but luckily my husband has had a vasectomy but that's not the case for everyone. I know, you know, a lot of y'all out there watching this might be in a relationship, like a heterosexual relationship, where neither of you are sterilized. And it's scary. And it's frustrating. And it felt wrong to just not talk about this. And, and I, I don't have anything helpful. I don't have any... I think I'm making this video more for myself at this point, honestly, because this feels therapeutic to me to just be able to, to talk about my thoughts and feelings. I'm sorry that, you know, if you live in, in the United States, I am sorry that this is our reality right now. And I'm sorry that this is what we're having to deal with and I think it is bullshit and it makes me so angry that I don't even know what to do with the amount of anger that it gives me. If y'all have been around for any length of time y'all will probably have seen either here on Instagram that my family is super religious. Um, and it really is upsetting to me to know that my my mom and grandparents are going to go to church on Sunday and their pastors are going to be preaching about how this is a good thing and about how now women are going to stop murdering their babies. And it, it just makes me really angry and really upset and really sad to know that my own family is happy that women's rights were taken away or or people who have uterus uterus havers rights uh were taken away today and they're f***ing happy about that and, and a million other people are happy about that and um it, it makes me upset 
I just, I can't wrap my mind around why people think it's okay to take other people's rights away based off their bullshit religious beliefs. Because I know that that's really what most of the shit boils down to is that, oh, the Bible and God said, and like, I don't give a f <laughs> It's like, I know a lot of y'all have probably seen that one video of that like news anchor looking lady. I don't know who she is, but she's like, you know, I don't give a f about your religion. Like I will fight for your right to, uh, to practice whatever religion you want, but I don't actually give a f about your Christianity and I don't want to have to live my life based off your religion that I don't believe in. And that's exactly how I feel. And I feel like so much of this conversation just goes back to religious bigots trying to force their beliefs and their way of life on an entire country. I just don't, I just don't have the words and I hate that I don't have words and I don't, I don't think I really will ever have constructive words about this because honestly the only thing that I can say about this topic is it's bullshit that we even have to have this conversation because women should be, you know, women should have access to any and all health care that we need. And if removing what is a parasitic in nature thing from our uteruses, if that is the health care that we need, then we should be able to get that health health care. No questions asked, no holds barred. We should just be able to take care of our bodies and handle our bodies in the way that we see fit and nobody else's religion should be up in my uterus like get your god out of my uterus and stay the fuck away from me like that's how i feel about it it just makes me angry because you know that if men could get pregnant that abortions would be available on every corner at every pharmacy at every hospital every urgent care you could get an abortion they, there would be like pop-up tents to get abortions if if men needed them but because it's a woman's issue it, it's impossible you know and and i know that this doesn't necessarily mean that abortion is illegal it just it gives the power to each state to decide how they handle it but that's bad because like you know like texas and i think mississippi and maybe ohio i don't even i don't even know all of the states and honestly i don't even know what north carolina is going to do yet you know even if it's not illegal in all of the states that doesn't mean that someone in mississippi is going to be able to drive to north carolina or you know michigan or you know whatever it doesn't mean you know it, it, it Someone might not even have the money to cross a state line, even if they're close to it. And it, I just wish that I had something more helpful to say. I saw, um, I was scrolling on Instagram not long after I saw the news and uh, Child Free Guru, Marsha Drutt Davis, posted on Instagram that, you know, she you know, was obviously feeling really sad for everybody. She was, she brought up the point that um, other than voting, you know, maybe something that we could do to help would be spread the message that people who don't want kids actually think about it so much more than a lot of the people who actually have children. <laughs> And, and that's so true. I mean, we, we not long ago last month read that ridiculous list of the reasons that people have children. And that's the people that, that the U.S. government wants to encourage. You know, like that's the, that's the side that the U.S. government is on is these dumb as f people who, who have children to so that they can control people and so they can leave a legacy and so they can pass on their f***ing bullshit businesses, you know? And it's, that is who our government is, is concerned with helping or, or whatever you want to call it. And, and I just, I, you know, I made that video not long ago about is being child-free becoming more accepted? And I said, no, it wasn't. 
and today I definitely don't feel like it is. But there are times where I feel like, you know, is my channel needed? You know, is this conversation needed? I feel like sometimes I just say the same thing over and over again and am I helping people and all these things. But then days like today happen and I'm like, no, the child-free channels and the child-free Instagrams, the child-free Reddits, the child-free Facebook pages, they are needed more now than ever because the louder we are, the more pushback we're going to get. And, and it's reflecting. I'm not saying this is happening because of child-free people or anything like that. But, you know, I'm just... This is just kind of a stream of consciousness thing right now, y'all, and I just have a lot. Also, like this abortion situation, it also affects people who actually want children as well. And it's like all of these pro-life motherfuckers don't even think about that. And, and no, it's not that they don't think about it. It's that they don't give a fuck about it. They don't give a fuck about women. They don't give a fuck about anyone with a uterus. And it pisses me off to know that all of these fucking judges and politicians that voted for this and support this, their daughters, their mistresses will be able to find abortion access. They'll be able to go and slip quietly into the night and get their secret abortion wherever and no one will ever fucking know that it happened. But meanwhile, the women of this country will be forced to birth babies that should not even be in existence. I just know there's going to be a lot of you that are out there who are angry and scared and feeling helpless and feeling enraged and, and just feeling lonely and lost. And I just, I, you know, same. Like I said, this video is just as much for me, I, I guess, as it is for anyone else who watches it because I'm not feeling okay about this. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm not doing okay in regards to this news. And, um, I'm sorry that this is the world that we live in right now or the, the country we live in rather. And all I can say is vote when, when we have the opportunity, we just have to vote and hopefully we can change it. And, um, on a state level, on a federal level, I, you know, Something has to be done because we can't just keep going backwards. You're not alone in these feelings. You're not alone in this anger and this upset. You're, you're not alone. And, um, you know, I, I can lend a listening ear if you want to comment on this video. And we, you know, just rant, vent down below if that will make you feel better. You can DM me on Instagram, you know. Or you don't even have to do any of that. You can just watch this and know that you're not alone. There's plenty of people out there who feel the same way. You're not alone. We're, we're all worried for each other in this situation. And um, I will uh, I will see y'all uh, Tuesday back to regularly scheduled uploads. But like I said, I just, I didn't feel right making this a regular video. It's just it just felt too heavy for that. It just, and obviously like I don't have any, like I said, I don't really have anything helpful to say about it. I, it, I just didn't feel right about making it a regular upload. So I didn't, but, um, regular uploads will be back Tuesday and, um, yeah, I'll see y'all then. Okay. Bye.